Hello students, welcome to West Bengal English Medium Guide. Today we are going to solve the exercise of natural disaster from class 5 science book and also try to find out some inside question answers. Before we start, requesting you to like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the further notifications of all video. If you missed any video, then please check out the description box or playlist you will find there. And if you have any queries, then let me know in the comment box. So let's start natural disaster. Number eight, fill in the blanks. Number one, volcano is an opening or rupture in the crust of earth. Number two, drafts happen due to lack of rain. Number three, a large amount of rainfall can cause floods. Number four, a crater is shaped like a bowl. Number five, a seismometer is an instrument that detects the vibrations caused by an earthquake. Next, number B, state true or false. Number one, the layer below the earth's crust is known as mantle, true. Number two, volcanic ash is basic in nature. False. Number three, Mount Papa is uh, Mount Papa in Myanmar is an active volcano. False. Number four, the name of hurricane in Japan is Typhoon. True. Next, number C. Five names of natural disasters: tsunami, flood, volcano, draft, cyclone. Next, number D. There are some question answers. Let's solve. Number one, what is a natural disaster? A natural disaster is a natural you know, event that causes great destruction and damage to the property. Next, number two, what is the study of earthquakes? Why is the study of earthquakes important? The study of earthquakes is called seismology. Scientists who study earthquakes are called seismologists. The study of earthquakes is important so that seismologists try to predict earthquakes so that people can be moved out to a safer place before an earthquake occurs. Number three, who is a seismologist? Scientists who study earthquakes are called seismologists. Next, number four, what is the Richter scale? An instrument by which the magnitude of an earthquake is measured is called Richter scale. Number five, write one cause of forest fire. A spark of lightning is one of the causes of forest fire. Number six, what do you understand by famine? Famine means extreme scarcity of food. People die of famine after a long period of drought. Number seven, Write one example each of active, dormant and extinct volcanoes. Active volcano, Barren Island, Mount Etna. Dormant volcano, Mauna Kea. Extinct volcano, Mount Papa. Next number E, answer the following questions in detail. Number one, what steps should we take at the time of an earthquake to keep ourselves safe? At the time of an earthquake, drop down on your hands and knees so that you don't fall suddenly. Next point, use your arms to cover your head and neck. Next, hold on to a heavy object so that you do not move easily. Next, number two, how do the following occur? Number A, earthquake. At times, there is a lot of pressure on the upper layers of mantle and crust of the earth, which causes strain. When two blocks of earth suddenly slip past one another, it gives rise to an earthquake. Next, number B, volcanic eruption. Deep inside the earth, there are hot molten rocks called magma. This magma comes up and collects in a chamber. When the pressure inside the chamber builds up, the magma bursts out from a 
vent and opening or a crack in the crust of the earth. A volcano is formed when gas, pieces of rocks, ash and lava erupt from the vent. Next number C tsunami. Tsunami can be generated by any disturbances that rapidly move large mass of water. Such disturbances may be earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, landslides or others. However, most common of all of this is under sea earthquakes. The occurrence of tsunami can be known if there is an earthquake or the ground rustles a lot. The earth suddenly pulls back and leaves bare sand or animals behave strangely. Next number 3. How can we measure the intensity of an earthquake? The intensity of earthquake is measured on the Richter scale. If the reading range ranges from 4 to 5, the earthquake is regarded as moderate. If the reading ranges from 6 to 7, it is regarded as measured. And for reading 8, it is considered as severe. Next number 4. Differentiate between the three types of volcanoes. Active volcanoes are those that have erupted in the last 10,000 years and can erupt again. Mount Etna of Italy is an active volcano. A dormant volcano is in a state of sleep. This means that it had erupted in the past. It can erupt again but at the moment it is inactive. Mauna Kea, located in the Hawaii Island, USA, is an example of a dormant volcano. Extinct volcanoes are those that have been inactive for thousands of thousands of years and are not expected to erupt again. Mount Papa in Myanmar is an extinct volcano. Next. Define magma. Hot molten rocks inside the earth is known as magma. Fault. The surface where two blocks of the earth slips past each other during an earthquake is called fault. Crater. The hollow top of volcano that is shaped like a bowl is called crater. Number 6. How can earthquake affect the human lives? In minor earthquakes, fans and beds sway in the rooms and many hangings also fall down. In strong earthquakes, cracks appear on buildings or they may fall. Trees, electric poles are uprooted, roads cave in and bridges break. Now it's time for extra question answer. Number one, name the three layers of art by which art is made up of. Art is made up of three layers, crust, mantle and coat. Number two, Define crust, mantle and core. The outermost layer of earth is called crust. The layer below the crust known as mantle which made up of hot rocks. The core is in most layer of earth made up of hot molten materials. Next number 3 short note of on tsunami. Tsunami is an enormous wall of water that comes as a series of waves onto the sea shore. These waves have a lot of force and can cover long distances without losing much power and energy. The waves can be as high as 15 meters and travel at a speed of 800 km per hour. A tsunami can be caused either by an earthquake, volcanic eruption or a landslide. Next number 4 short note on hurricane. A hurricane is a severe storm with rapidly spinning winds. They are usually ac accompanied by strong winds, heavy rain and sometimes snow or sleet. The speeds of the wind causes a lot of damage. Trees are uprooted, vehicles overturned and buildings destroyed. These storms have different names in different places. For example, it is called a cyclone over the Bay of Bengal and in northern Indian Ocean. It is called a typhoon in Japan and hurricane in the name given to a tropical storm in the southern USA. Next last one, number 5, name some natural disasters, floods, drought, forest fire are also natural disaster. So we come to the end. Again requesting you to like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the further notifications of all the videos. If you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box and so 
that's all for today we'll be back with a new video till then bye and take care